Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a video to show you how to make homemade hummus. Now hummus is one of the staples of a plant-based whole food diet. It's the thing I snack on the most. It has a lot of protein, um, not just from the chickpeas. There's about 20 grams of protein per cup of chickpeas, but also the tahini that we use. I think there's five grams in two tablespoons of tahini, which is, in case you don't know, and it's sesame seeds turned into a paste. So this recipe is called lemony hummus and it's because I'm using fresh lemon juice. You can also use the rind from the lemon if you like. I personally always like garlic in my hummus. I love garlic, so I have chopped up one garlic clove. So you'll measure out one cup. If you're using um, tin chickpeas, please make sure they don't have added salt because tins often have a lot of salt. Um, but I always um, often soak them myself. You can buy them dried, soak them overnight, and then just cook them, put them in different containers in the fridge. That's what I've done. So one cup of chickpeas into the container. I've got one clove of garlic that I have pre-chopped. And then I'm gonna take two tablespoons of tahini. Now this is an organic um, tahini. You can get all different kinds, but honestly, it's a matter of taste. And then about one, two tablespoons of lemon juice, just because I like the lemony taste. And then I usually put just a little bit of olive oil in to begin. You can always add more later. You know, it's kind of fattening because you've got oil is fattening and tahini is already an oil based. So I don't put a lot in. Then you can add salt. Now I do like salt in my hummus. I probably add a fair bit. Um, I'm actually low in iodine, so I'm uh, not one of those people that has to worry about having too much salt when I don't have high blood pressure. But if you do, go easier on that. Um, I mix it and then I would always add um, a little bit of water. So I'm just going to add a quarter cup. I have a filtration system, so do use filtered water if you can. And then we'll just turn it on. that's it. So if you like it uh, runnier, you can put more water in. If you like it thicker, put less water in and then put it in a container and then just enjoy it with some uh, vegetable sticks, celery sticks. Have those already pre-done in a container in the fridge and then it's easy to snack. Um, I would say you don't want to probably have more than half a cup of this. Um, probably a quarter cup of this is, is good at one time because I said it is quite fattening, but it is really healthy too. So let me know your comments um, if you have any questions and I will be posting more videos and hope to see you again soon. Thank you.